See? This one is modeling for everyone? That's okay. We pop the popcorn. Kind of hot, but it's okay. Why did we pop popcorn again? Um, to do percent something. Yeah. That's percent something. We're trying to see essentially how much water is in the popcorn. So, yeah. Hey guys, so we're back at the science lab doing it again. This is a vlog number two. What are we looking for today, guys? So what do we have going on right here in front of us right now, Tashi? Tell us what's going on. We're heating a crystal <laughs> yep. to take off any moisture. So we have an accurate Alright, so what are we doing next, guys? We're going to add our compound. Let it burn. Let it burn. Like Gusher said, let it burn, you know? So then um, that's what we're doing today. And maybe, you know, we'll get some good calculations out of this. And thanks for tuning again for another episode of Science Vlog. You guys, throw up your peace sign, Tashi. Hey guys, so we're at vlog time again. We have a special guest today, you know? And today we actually worked with the loot. And we're, what were we doing again? Um, I don't know. We have no idea what we're, we're doing. Kind of <laughs> it's an investigation to see. So we make some baking soda, some vinegar, put that in the flask or in the graduated cylinder, put a balloon on top and see what happens. This is mine. Compared to theirs, mine's a baby. But um, science time with us, you guys. Say peace to the vlog, guys. Peace to the vlog. <laughs> Tashi, can you give me some peace? <laughs> It's lab time, you guys. Lab vlog 101. Tashi, what are you doing right here? What is this? Um, this is water and copper to chloride. Yeah? And what are we about to do with it? Tell me, uh, Sierra, what are we about to do next? I think we're putting in some steel wool. That is exactly what we're doing. We are. We're, we're about to create that copper, people. And then we're going to calculate the percent Wait. Turn up. Guys, we're in another science vlog today. Hi everyone, say hi. We're making a rainbow. A whole ass rainbow. Are you excited? I am. Monisha, you probably should put your hair up in the lab. But um, yeah, we're doing a whole rainbow. So right now we're getting the red part of it done. That's HDL Miss Universal Indicator. And we'll come back with the rest of it in just a minute. real pretty, pretty thing Okay, so this is what we don't get what she costs. Anyways, so we got Sierra right here. She's trying to put the sodium what solution in it? Sodium carbonate solution into the HCL. And we can actually start to see the beginning of a rainbow happening down here, the purple. She's doing a real good job. Do your thing, Sierra. Do your thing, Sierra. And the rest of us are just kind of waiting on our turn. Tashi's taking such a good slow time. Get it, Tashi. Do this with precision, girl. Get it. We're seeing green? Look at Tashi taking her good time. Good, good time. Gotta get that precision all down and ting and ting. Nice and easy. I'm handing it off to Manisha right now. Look at how beautiful our rainbow is, guys. It's so gorgeous. I can't wait to see the final product. It's gonna be super cute. And as Manisha gets it, we're just gonna give her a second to do her thing. And wow, Tashi. Wow. Try to catch all the science bays out there? Our rainbow turned out really pretty, guys. I should drink it, but that means I'll be drinking acid. Biology, that's really rough. Exactly. So this is the cock the concoction <laughs> that we drink as AP students from biology gets rough. Glasses up, people. Glasses up. Maybe I'll get extra marks. Anyways, you guys, we're making an aqueous solution of CuSO4 of 0.1 mole right now. You see how pretty and blue it is? See the way that Alex is looking at us? Like, he looks like he wants to kill all of us. It's so shady. So, we're gonna add the rest of the solvent to our current solution to make it 0.1 mole. Yeah, I feel really nice. I feel really nice. Actually, these chemistry words. Um, so we're gonna add the remaining solvent, then mix it up, then we got our 0.1 mole per liter of CuSO4 aqueous solution. What's wrong with it? Yeah, it's so 
So we have our volumetric flask that Tashi is adding the rest of our distilled water to, to be exact, 108 milliliters measured by myself. And, um, yeah, as the other three fourths of 250. There we go. Get it. Oh, Tashi! It was to get to that red line. That's 250, I think. Gross. I measured that so well, and now it's on the table. We're gonna need more water, people. Drop. Drip, drippity, drop. Drip. Oh, done? Tashi, do you feel like a god right now? How, how nice do you feel? Good. We have 0 0.1 mole per liter, uh, uh, exactly 250 milliliters of CUS04. Here we go, people. That was step one. Tashi, what's going on here? <laughs> when AP English gets too challenging? Do you think it's well mixed enough? Get a nice little swirl there, Woody. You should get it a nice little swirl. I feel like it's not even. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like we have yet to write a hypothesis, you guys. No. Nope. Don't we need more water on this side? That's all right. Should we start? Kind of like Just pour. Just make sure it doesn't go over. Take it slow and steady. This is very slow. So um, we're gonna be doing intervals of pouring and waiting. Yeah. Well, we have intervals of stirring and waiting. So I guess I should probably work on the hypothesis now. Until next time, guys. As we wait. This ish won't precipitate fast enough. So we just sit here and wait. And we should probably wash up our lab stuff, though. We could do that. We could do that in the meanwhile. Let's get it, people. Let's get it. We're back and we're better. I'm feeling a lot better now. Our light pink. Look at our light pink. This is the first child. Titration. This is so annoying. Titration. I broke a tub. I broke a little beaker today and I was really upset about it, but you know what? This light pink makes up for it. Look at it. Look at it. Look at it. Look at it. It's really good. So now we're working on titrations. Child number two and um, the team is ready. One milliliter. That's one. Okay. And then we're going to add some phenol which is the indicator. Add the phenol when you should. It's a little bit much. It's okay. Get it under the burette. I'll turn it on. Can I switch? Okay, Tashi's taking the switching job. I'm like halfway through. One. We're using 0 0.2. Can someone turn it for me? Ready? I'm gonna get you. So right now we have Monisha is opening up the burette to let go of the NaOH so we can put it into the vinegar to neutralize it and this is what we call a titration. Our goal is to get that very light pink that you saw before and this is our trial number two. Wait, did we record where it was? Yes. Sorry, sorry, 17.2. Hang on, hang on. What? I think you're supposed to touch the bottom. The other one. Are you getting it out? Yeah. Slowly but surely? It's taking a while. There you go. Okay, back to the titration. So this is what we have going on right here. <laughs> I'm not in the crease of your fingers. Calm down. I'm definitely on the beaker. <laughs> Tash, you want to say something to us on the card? So, this is what we have going on at our lab station right now. Oh, we're seeing that fuchsia. That's the fuchsia. Bottoms up! Hey guys, so we're back again with another chemistry vlog. Manisha, can you let me go over a little sticky for you? Eh? So, um, right now, Miss Aidy's playing Pitbull's Shake Senora because she tried to prove to me that it's better. But we're about to hit this lab. We're about to boil this water. It's literally just an investigation. We're about to boil this water. Here we go. No, Tasha, what are you doing? I know, but what are we doing? Oh. It is. It's air pressure. We're trying to see what happens to the air pressure as we add more weight on top. I really don't know. See what's happening, but um, I guess you could add another one. Maybe put some of your own weight on that. Can Sarah check the boiling water? Is it boiling yet? So I don't know what's happening. Do you guys feel anything different? No. 
volume has decreased significantly. The volume has significantly decreased. We went from 20 to like 7. Okay, well, we can't really see that. If I'm on this angle, and turn around. Boom. So we went from 20 and now we're at like 7. So the volume has significantly decreased with the weight. However, there's still the same amount of air, so the air pressure has decreased. Smart Tashi. Uh, so Tashi. Here we have our syringe. No, Initially we had 20 milliliters or something of air. And now our syringe says that we have 5 and the technical stuff is like the What does that mean, Tashi? That means that the air pressure has increased significantly. The volume has decreased so much. There, wow, Tashi! Wow! Look at the audience clapping. So this is our first experiment going on right here. Um, we have our bottle with the flip-up lid cap sitting in a bath of water that we're boiling right now on our hot plate, and it's attached to a clamp on this um, retort stand. And we're just waiting for it to get hot, but I think we're almost there. Once we get it out of here, we have to put it in our one liter beaker of cold water submerged upside down. Right now, we are doing a lab called the molar volume of butane, of which we're going to measure the molar volume of butane. Right now, Manisha's trying to get the stopper off the top of this graduated cylinder, and she's kind of struggling. She's struggling, man. There we go. Keep that submerged. Keep that ish submerged. And now the next step is place the lighter under the open end of the graduate of the cylinder and depress the lighter to release the butane. Here we go. Who's going to do that? Yeah. Here we go, Manisha. You got this. Let's see those air bubbles, girl. If you can, if you can, if you can. Get... Okay, that's the one. See the air bubbles going up. There we go, we got a solid stream, and we're going for 60 to 70 milliliters. Essentially, when the water level in the graduate cylinder matches that. We're on our last lab vlog of the year, guys. It's CPT lab time. Our CPT is the production of hydrogen gas. So what we're doing right now is we have our one liter beaker of water right here, and we're gonna collect some HCl, and we're gonna add magnesium to it. It's going to create both aluminum sulfate and no. What is it going to create? AL. That's That was the example, wasn't it, from yesterday. So magnesium chloride and hydrogen gas. We have to essentially find the partial pressure of the hydrogen gas. All this kind of cool stuff. And we're going to take you along for our last ride, guys. You kind of twisted off, too. <laughs> if it's just one, I think it's fine. We're good to go. Good job, Tesh. First try. Manisha going in. Get it, Manisha. Someone push more of the tube. There. There we go. Still struggling. There we go. Are we up? So now the next step would be to add the magnesium to the HCl and put that gas collecting device, the gas collection device, on right away. So who wants to drop the magnesium? Drop the magnesium now, quick. Should I shake it or leave it? Give it a sec. You can see our gas bubbles collecting. Tash, can you move your hand to the back a little bit so we can see the back? Yeah, there you go. We have a whole system here. Yeah. Pretty good. Are we almost at 50, Tash? We are almost at 50. We are almost at 50. Where do we exactly? Okay. You better not go too far about 50. I know. You guys want to. See, I just stopped shaking at that point and didn't leave it. Yeah. So the last time we made too little, now we're making too much. <laughs> oh, it's over 50? <laughs> Right. Then, what are you holding? Holding hydrogen gas. Yeah, just pour with water here. How much do we collect? Um, 62 milliliters, which is more than we're supposed to, but whatever, like five minutes of people. This is water, and this is more water. And a milliliter beaker. Or one, that's a lot, but whatever. One liter is what I was trying to say. For the last time, guys, let's throw in the peace signs. <laughs> Manisha, you're not throwing the peace sign. <laughs> 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 and that's the last vlog. Bye, guys.